welcome back. Uh, we've got the, the last morning. There he is. Morning. And uh, we went there. There we go. Uh, and that's the last. Uh, no more. I am uh, not sure. Best of luck. Our last guest today is described as a smooth talking sex symbol who always gets the ladies' heads in a spin. He's played the mysterious Adam Carter in Spooks, an intense detective inspector in Whitechapel, and now Rupert Benny Jones is back on our screens as barrister Clive Reader in the third series of courtroom drama Silk. I'm withdrawing my offer of help. Oh, no, I didn't mean it about Chelsea. They're a lovely football club. Who's your second favourite team? I'm prosecuting you. Right. Sinclair? Yep. <laughs> right. It's Manchester City, isn't it? Your second team. I was going to ask you, do you want to go for a drink later? Well, we probably shouldn't if we're against each other. Well, there's that bar in Exmouth Market. It's got table football. <laughs> Imagine if the press got hold of it. Miss, your client's here. Oh, and this is Amy, the new pupil. Hi. Hello. She's roaming, not attached to anyone in particular. So, up to you. We're against each other in the same trial. Who do you want to be with? I think that's an unfair question, don't you? I know she's supposed to decide. Would you like to meet Jordan Sinclair? <sighs> and welcome. Hello. It's lovely to see you. Lovely to see you. Again, too. I can only apologise for about what may happen from <laughs> this one sat next to me. What? I'm not saying you like, like, I told you yourself. you'd be teased up until you brought it up now. You said it. <laughs> I said you would be teased up until the moment he arrived in the studio. Okay. And then, and then have you seen her script today? Uh, this is not this is this is not I haven't done yeah, this myself, yeah, whatever. but I just want to make sure you know that. Oh look at that. This yeah. is what they do. <laughs> <laughs> Right, carry on. Thank you. We'll talk about sensible stuff now. I watched on Monday. It was brilliant. The oh, first good. episode of Silk. Yes. Um, he seems very changed, doesn't he? Since... Well, yeah, he's trying to grow up a bit now. I think uh, he needs to be taken seriously, so he needs to stop shagging everything that moves. And do you think because he's not Sorry so... Because he's um Because he sort of hasn't got to uh, compete anymore as such, because he's got QC, that that's kind of tamed him slightly? Yeah, yeah. I think now he feels he's on an even footing with, with Martha, so... Um... Their, their teammates rather than him constantly trying to get one up on her. Mm. And uh, he's become a bit more of her conscience rather than her adversary, really. Well, um, he loves her as well. Yeah, he does. He says he loves her in the first first episode, doesn't he? Which, yeah. Uh, which, so that's uh, going to change the dynamic. Well, yes, it, it, but it, it sort of doesn't really um, come back his way the way he was hoping it to, so he starts to go back to his old ways. Well, the thing is, I suppose, if, for all of us, if, they, if it did happen, he now says that he loves her and they get together, um, then everything that you want to happen, or you wait, will they, won't they, that sort of thing, it's just too, it's too easy, isn't it? They can't get together, no. I think, I think she is the one for him, mm. but uh, I don't think they would ever get together. Because he's not necessarily the one for her? I don't know, really. I don't know if she is or not, but uh, I just think they could never make it work, they're too different. I think they'd have a great time for a weekend. Yeah. <laughs> but um, I don't think that they would ever make it as a couple, no. Um, how um, dynamic is it to, uh, to film? Um, does it keep you all interested all the time? It's a difficult show to film because the, court, the nature of shooting courtroom drama is um, slow and a laborious process, really. But uh, because the writing is so good and you've got, you've got great dialogue to work with and mm. the stuff all that's all around the, uh, the courtroom dramas, the stuff that goes on in, in the chambers is is a lot of fun to shoot. And the cast are great fun. So. Yeah, but the, the, I mean, obviously, I ask you that question for a reason. Right. Uh, and that's this picture here. Um. <laughs> <laughs> what exactly is going on there? <clears throat> You've fallen asleep on the job there. <laughs> I... <laughs> there was... Uh, there's a thing that happens, basically, on, in, on Silk. Virtually, they get these amazing actors in, David Bradley, Diana Quick, to come and play judges in Silk. And we always get brilliant people to come and play judges. Every single one of them falls asleep. Mm -hmm. And I've made a point of taking a picture of every single one of them asleep. And David Bradley got me back. It was payback. <laughs> <laughs> because if you're in there, it's set up, long day, all that sort yeah, of thing. Yeah, you're not always on you're camera. Not yeah. You're not always on camera. And you, sometimes you don't have anything to say. And you, as long as you're sitting there, sort of being a body, you can just fall asleep. <laughs> uh, there's been times when literally the whole of the, uh, the jury have been asleep. <laughs> They've actually been asked to leave because they're putting us off, because all you can see is just people going... Oh. <laughs> How much say do you get sort of creatively in it, sort of the way that he's changed and sort of his vulnerability coming through? Do you get to sort of speak to the creators and say, right... This yeah, I mean, Peter Moffat's somebody I work with a lot, who is the sort of in control of the script. It's his, it's his baby, really. And uh, he's very good at listening to our, our ideas and our opinions and things. But um, at the end of the day, 
it's it's up to him. Mm. Yeah. I mean, there might be stuff that we don't like that still is there. And so, what's going to happen? Is this is there a fourth series coming? Because you mm -hmm. say that this ends in quite a strange way, where it could go one of two ways. Really. Yeah. I mean, it, it's it's written in a way that we all are kind of dispersed by the end of it, and everyone is going in different directions. Not just mentally, but physically. We're all sort of left wandering off in different ways. It kind of feels like a big bomb has gone off in chambers and not literally but um and uh, i don't know if, i don't know if there's going to be more or not it depends mm. on would you like to do more yeah i think so depends well there's no more uh, there's no more white chapel is there there is no more white chapel that's sad, sad about that yeah, yeah well we we were really excited by the last series because we thought we'd, we'd found something really interesting and new but um i don't think the powers that be mm. liked the direction that we'd gone in and we didn't get the viewing figures we normally get yeah and uh that's the way it goes. You uh, we mentioned in the introduction uh, earlier on about uh, about the Oscars, and and you said that you you wouldn't watch the Oscars. Are you not are you not into that sort of thing? It's, it's just on too, too late. late. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> That's true. Uh, I always look and see who's won, but uh, there's a lot to sit through. Yeah. And, um, You're not into that sort of Hollywood thing, are you really? I'm not into it because I'm not in it. Um, right. I, I mean, it's, if it's you were in it, you'd be quite a happy. World that I seem to not be able to break through into. And uh, would you like to go out there? Because you're, you're doing something for America at the moment, aren't you? I am. I'm doing something, but it's being filmed in Africa, which is which is different. I couldn't couldn't walk away from South Africa. It's fantastic fun. It's a show called Black Sails. Right. But um, I would I would I think American TV is the best TV in the world. Uh, I do think we make great TV here, but if you take all the great shows from America, there's a hell of a lot more of them. And uh, I love some of the American dramas that are on. Yeah. And uh, to be involved in one of those would be fabulous, but to uproot my family to America would be yeah. difficult, so it's got to be really good. And, and what about theatre? Would you like to go back and do some theatre? Yes, I'm in discussions with various producers and things at the moment, trying to find a play. It's about finding something that you're prepared to dedicate six months to, really, because mm. that's what it takes. Well, also juggling family life as well, with another, with, with yeah. them being such a successful actress as well. I mean, you've got to... My wife's in the West End at the moment, and uh, we don't live in London, so I'm sort of... God, I see you're full-on daddy daycare. Yes, yes. Apart from when I'm in Africa, and then we just sort of just ask anyone. Just leave them. <laughs> just leave them to fend for themselves. Yeah. How old are they now? Nearly ten and nearly eight. Oh, they, they, oh. they can, can't yeah. they? Yeah. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> um, Silk is uh, is Mondays at uh, at nine on BBC One, um, and you're loving it. And yes. how was that? That was absolutely fine, thank you. Yeah? Thank you. Was that all right? It was very nice. Oh, good, 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 good. <laughs> <laughs> Anything else you want to say? Uh, no, I'm no. fine. <laughs> I think I've survived that one. Thank you very much. Thank you. It's lovely to see you.